theme songs are for pussies. Top 10 zombie movies. Number 10, Wild Zero. Punk rock, zombies, aliens, transsexual love, what more do you need? Number 9, Wreck or Record. You may know the American remake of this better, Quarantine, but the Spanish original is far scarier, the characters are far less annoying, and being in Spanish, and I don't speak Spanish, or understand Spanish, it adds to the chaotic feel of the movie. Number 8, Fido. Leave it to Beaver meets World War Z. Number 7, Zombieland. You will not find two greater actors in a zombie movie than Jesse Eisenberg and Woody Harrelson. Plus, it's a road trip movie. I love road trip movies. Emma Stone is hot. You got a carnival. Those are always fun. And it has the greatest opening title sequence ever filmed. Number 6, Tokyo Zombie. This 2005 film is based off a of manga. It has a very manga style. It's funny and ridiculous and goes to lengths you wouldn't think it would. Number five, Diary of the Dead. Funny, low budget, first person point of view. Probably the most quotable zombie movie out there. At least in my opinion. So many memorable moments in that movie. Number four, The Crazies, 2010. Fast, frightening, and unpredictable. I've seen a lot of small town zombie movies, but this one does it better than any of them. It's also one of the few occasions where the remake is vastly superior to the original. Number three, Day of the Dead, 1985. Not that 2008 thing. We will not speak of that. There are many aspects of making a movie. And you can probably think of a few films that perfectly showcase each individual aspect. And as far as special effects go, you can do no better than Day of the Dead. It is the perfection of special effects. Number two, Dawn of the Dead, 2004. This is the first zombie movie I've, I ever saw. It not only got me addicted to zombies, but it also got me into film and into Zack Snyder, and for that, I'm forever grateful to my friend James. Number one, number one, 28 Days Later, the spark of a new generation and Danny Boyle's masterpiece. The three acts of 28 Days Later are very clearly defined. The first act is a horror movie of the highest caliber. The second act is a road movie. And the third act is a Rambo-esque revenge thriller. But it all seems to work together. Leave a comment, tell me how right or wrong I am. Subscribe if you want to.